Good morning. Today we are running a bunch of errands. Well, not really a bunch, just a few. And then I'm going to go to the gym. And I don't know what else is in store for today. But this weekend is the Bloody Valentine party. My cousins always throw a huge Halloween party. And this year they're throwing a huge Valentine's party. I also need to figure out what I'm wearing for that because it's supposed to be like black tie Halloween twists so like you can put blood on yourself or whatever. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I might just keep it low key. Um, I need a cute little running errands slash gym outfit. I'll probably wear like maybe some cute little leggings. I usually just wear a t-shirt to the gym. So if I did like leggings, a t-shirt, and maybe a vest, that could slay. Okay. I like that idea. Has to be a cute t-shirt though. Oh my gosh. I tried on a bunch of stuff and fashion is a lost cause for me. I'm a big t-shirt girly at the gym. I don't do like matching sets. I don't even own a matching set. Not that I'd be opposed. I just, I've never bought one. So instead, we're just going to go with my classic wearing the same sweater I wear every single day of my life with a t-shirt underneath. Um, I did throw my hair into a claw clip, but claw clips are not big enough for my hair. So she's a little struggling but I think she works. I also, when I look like this, <laughs> I would normally wear my glasses, but I actually have contacts in today. Let's try to make my face look a little better and drink water. Someone told me that it's hard to watch my videos because I always look at the viewfinder. I try so hard not to, but it's like, I'm the type of person that has to look in the mirror every single time I walk by. So, I don't know. I, I'll say like, oh, I'm gonna try to change that, but it'll probably never change. I mean, I've been on YouTube for so long and I just have never gotten over that. So I think that that habit is probably here to stay. <laughs> okay, well now it doesn't look like I've been crying. So that's good. We're gonna clean her up. We're gonna do a little bit of bronzer as eyeshadow, a little bit of blush to add some life into me. This winter pale skin. I would do my whole like no makeup makeup routine, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Give my eyebrows just a little, just a little help here on the ends. Curl my lashes. My hair is like sticking up everywhere. There we go, that's the look. <laughs> okay, plugging in my printer because I need to print a prepaid shipping label. My errands I need to run today are literally just returning a few packages. I need to return at home try on for my last brand deal thing, my equipment from the job I got laid off on. I've had this speaker of my brother's that like broke over the summer, literally since the summer. And back in like October, he sent me the prepaid shipping label and all I have to do is go take it in and then they're gonna like look at it and send me a new one and then I can have that speaker. And it's a really, oh, it's like a really big, nice speaker. It's called Soundbox. If you've heard of it, they're very expensive. The amount of lazy that I am. When it comes to packages, I just get so nervous. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna walk in there and hopefully I do everything right. But first I need to print the label. Buying a printer, honestly, as an adult, you should totally get a printer. Even if it's just a cheap one, it saved me so much time. Yay! Okay, I think I have everything I need now. I feel like it took me forever just to like get myself together. I'm gonna drink a Celsius. This is the Kiwi Guava. I haven't had this flavor in a while. I'm like, is it good? Is it not? I don't know. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it'll work. I also spent like a lot of my morning breaking down a bunch of boxes because we have so many boxes in our garage from like moving and remodeling and all that. But like some of them are too big to put in the recycling. They don't fit in my car to take to like my dad's dumpster. So I actually like my dad to come over with his truck and throw all the boxes in there. Anyway, okay, so we need to do a FedEx drop off and a USPS drop off and then I can hit the gym. Let's go get some jams going. Ooh, should I do an updated playlist video? I haven't done one of those in so long. We'll say something I missed so much about being like full-time content creator, YouTuber, whatever, is you can just run errands. I know there's like that whole thing on TikTok that's like out of touch influencers and they'll be like, oh, it's such a busy day. And then they'll be doing something like what I'm doing today or like tomorrow I need to get my car inspected and go to the DMV. And they'll be like, oh, it's such a busy day. But like as someone who worked a corporate nine to five Monday through Friday job and then you only have like Saturday and Sunday to do anything except like the DMV is closed on Saturday and Sunday and I go to church on Sunday. So I really only have Saturday to do anything. This is like a treat to be able to 
to spend a day or half a day running errands like I would have had to take a day off work to do this kind of stuff and that's why I haven't shipped all this stuff that needed shipped for so long because guess what FedEx closes at 5 Every, like I could not comprehend how I was ever supposed to get anything done when I had my job because I worked well I actually worked 8 to 5 or 9 to 6 because our lunch break doesn't count so like when was I supposed to do all this stuff during my lunch break this is like such a relaxing day to me just running a few little errands sorry I don't mean for this to come off as like bragging or like being like oh being a youtuber is like the best job ever which like yeah it kind of is but it's just like the difference of having the corporate job first i'm just like saying this almost for me to look back on like remember how much freedom you have and it's worth the grind it's every job is gonna have things that you might not like and like things that are stressful um for instance with youtube like oh there might be like some deadlines that are stressful or you know dealing with hate comments or inconsistent pay but it's like worth the grind for the freedom anyway what Where's the FedEx? Is it inside Walgreens? What? Um, gosh, it is too bright. I cannot see in my backup cam. Okay, apparently there is FedEx inside of Walgreens. I literally had no idea. This package is really heavy. I don't know how I'm gonna like carry it in there. Um, wish me luck. I mean, I'm definitely being dramatic. Like, I can carry it. No, because of why did I wait so long? That was so easy. And the lady was, so, I love when they're nice. Cause I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I was like, is this considered an oversized box? Cause I'm not supposed to use that. And then she was like, it doesn't matter. We'll take it. And then she took it and it was all good. Prepaid shipping label, boom, boom, done. I'm trying to FaceTime Log Dude to meet me at the gym, but he's not answered. Why do I look so good in the FaceTime camera? Hold on. Slay, are they putting like a filter on me? Wow. He did not answer. He might be like in the shower or something. Okay, so next I need to do USPS. So, which is actually inside of another store. <laughs> Everything is inside of a store. You know, now that I went into Walgreens, I'm like, no, I totally knew that there was FedEx in there. I've seen that a million times when I go to Walgreens, but what can you do? I'm just, I'm just a girl. This is my sign to hype myself up for like returning things and whatnot because it's so easy. I don't know why I always think it's so hard. This is disgusting. I should not have tried to turn left. This is like an ultimate blind spot. Yo, wearing my contacts, this is crazy. I don't have glasses on, but I can see. Oh, I'm gonna cry. So good. I'm so like so many years I put off getting contacts because once again, it's one of those just like random anxieties that I have for absolutely no reason. But I convinced myself that if I went to the doctor and asked for contacts, they'd be like, you're stupid. Why would we ever give you contacts? No, of course they want to give me contacts. They make money from that. Oh my gosh. Why do I get so nervous on like the simplest task? <sighs> okay, easy peasy. This one has prepaid shipping. This one does not. I just didn't tape any of it. So hopefully they tape. I was gonna leave my camera on my dashboard like I did when I went into Walgreens and then I was like, mm, that's actually probably a bad idea, so took her down. Okay, wow, the amount of like weight off my shoulders just getting all of that done. But the guy in there was so nice too. He was like maybe my age. He was talking, showing me pictures of his fiance and I think it was his kid. But I think I might head home and make lunch first because now it's already noon and I'm hungry and I should not go to the gym on an empty stomach. I literally didn't even think about that before I left my house. Like I could have ate before I left, but I'll go home, make lunch, hang out with my husband during his lunch break because it's right now. Then I think I'll go to the gym. I just got my meal prep for me and then I'm gonna make my husband a burger. I made these patties myself. for today I have uh, all I've done is ate lunch <laughs> I did do some stuff I didn't plan on doing that I can mark off my week so that's good but I haven't gone to the gym I haven't finished all the videos I need to finish or anything um, so I'm gonna work on editing some videos and whatnot and then I think I'll just go to the gym like tonight with my brother because we have family dinner at my dad's tonight and then I'll hit the gym after so let's get some work done <laughs> I 
I just went into my kitchen to grab my sweater and I was like, what is that noise? My oven has been on for five hours. I've never made that mistake before and I never will again. I'm just glad I caught it before I leave. Um, it's five o'clock. Logan's coming to pick me up for a family dinner because Abram is still working and I don't know when he'll be ready. So he'll just meet me over there. I kind of forgot about water consumption and just chugged basically this whole thing. But that's the problem if I like sip on something throughout the day, I just forget to also sip on water. So my dad bought this house and my grandma's gonna move into it so they're working on renovating it. And yeah, I don't have any before footage cause I just now started vlogging again. It was like a wall right here and yeah, it's looking way better. Oh, you guys patched up that weird little TV peek hole to the bathroom, that's nice. <laughs> that was weird. Cool. We're walking into the gym and I feel so popular cause like I'm just now starting to get friends and like I have three people text me right now. I think that's like a record. I'm loving it. I'm so popular. I chose the book for my family book club and I've heard so many good things about Powerless. I'm so excited to read. So I'm gonna take a shower and read in the shower because that's what Kindles are for. Good morning, it is Thursday, one day before the party. It is so nice out today, it feels like spring and I went to Hy-Vee earlier to grab a few more things for like Super Bowl party and stuff this weekend. And it smelled like a barbecue outside. I also was having a bad hair day, which I think it should be fine. Oh yeah, it's looking better now. But I forgot that I can wear a hat. I was like, here, beanie, it's nice out. Hats exist, so I'm wearing a hat. Anyway, I'm gonna go meet a friend for a walk. I swapped out all the bulbs out here, so now there's actually light out here, and Abram wants to try grilling on our new grill for the first time, and I'm gonna edit while he does that. It's Friday, tonight is the bloody Valentine party and it's supposed to be like black tie and I was gonna go thrifting with Log to get an outfit but I forgot I have this dress and I think it's gonna work perfect. This is the dress that I kind of took some pictures right after me and my husband got engaged and then I have this like cute little bow that I can put in my hair. I feel like this would be super cute. I think I might be like aggressively dehydrated from that walk yesterday because it was like 2 p.m. Really nice out, kind of kind of hot, honestly. And I think the sun was a lot more aggressive than I thought. And I low-key feel like I might have got sunburned or something because I felt sick all morning and now I'm realizing, wow, I'm really thirsty. So I'm gonna try to just chug a bunch of water while I get some work done for today. I don't know why I am so tired today. I don't know, I do not feel great. So I'm going to get coffee. I have a Starbucks gift card. Fully relying on a latte to revive me. Oh my gosh, that was unbelievably hot. <laughs> I just burnt my mouth. Um, okay, well, I don't know if it's like the contacts hurting my eyes and making my eyes puffy because I'm still getting used to like wearing them. <sighs> I'm trying my best right now. Today is just a day. Just got to Log's house. Why did they not give me one of those like things so you don't burn your hands? Because my hands keep like getting so hot. I'm on such a struggle bus right now, it's actually wild. I come to Logs and he's making me an immune boosting drink and potentially some clarity. I forgot that this could be an allergies thing because it's like spring basically. I don't know if this is gonna be good or disgusting. <laughs> Here we go. Is yours expired? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It, it tastes fine, it's just really cold. <laughs> oh yeah, it tastes better when it's cold. <laughs> It actually, <laughs> there's so much of it that it tastes like a Smarties. Really? Yeah, you wanna try? My mom used to work for this company that makes these like probiotic Whoa, powders. that's heavy. <laughs> so we have all the Holy like old cow. expired ones. <laughs> You're like, okay, I'll add a little more water. It's probably better if I drink more water anyway. All right, we made it to Goodwill, thrift store number one. See what we can find. Since when does Goodwill not have a dressing room? So here's the first one. I'm not even gonna try this one on. 
I found a red shirt for Abram and then I found this like red dress. I think it'll work. I kind of tried it on over my clothes in the Goodwill because they didn't have a dressing room for some reason. Um, It is like a halter top. So we'll see how it goes. It seemed like it fit and I could add like some tears and rips and fake blood and it'll be a vibe. Uh, No, I don't have a mas massage gun. I don't know where mine went. We got our outfits. Now we're going to go to Party City. See what else we can find. Why does this mask have ears and a nose? Ooh, woo. Akatar vibes. Okay, that you're canceled for that one. <laughs> what did you find? Fake blood. I don't know if I've necessarily gotten any better throughout the day, so I'm gonna eat a pickle, drink some water, and just like watch a show and hope to feel better. I'm ready for the party. This is what I'm wearing. I went with something I already had: some boots, cute dress, and then I put on a bow. I just decided to go for like an all black vibe. It's easy. It's simple. I don't know how long I'm staying type of vibe, but I'll probably have fun and end up staying longer. So we're gonna go to Logs and we'll go there. Party started. <laughs> safe it is almost 1 a.m so that's pretty good on time it was really fun but i've never been more excited to be home because i've never been more thirsty or more hungry in my entire life i've literally been dreaming about this since i left my house yep good morning i forgot that i am hosting galentine's like i knew i'm hosting but didn't hit me that i'm hosting so i have a lot of cleaning to do and we're gonna put together our outdoor furniture so first we're gonna go get coffee starbucks acquired i'm actually not a fan of starbucks but i had a starbucks gift card so better than paying for seven brew but seven brew is like a thousand times better anyway they actually gave me one of the hot sleeves this time so I will be vlogging inside my garage. We are planning on cleaning the garage. We have not cleaned it since we remodeled our house. I don't wanna hear anything about it. It's just been cold. We'll do it when it gets warmer. Welcome to my garage. Okay, what is the vibe? So these are the chairs and that is like the little fireplace. It's actually quite cold. Glad I got a hot coffee. We put this off for no reason because everything's put together. All we have to do is put the legs on the chairs. Very easy. <laughs> all the outdoor furniture put together and I love it we're still messing around with how we want to set it up right now it's like this our deck is kind of like long and thin so it makes it a little awkward but very excited it has one of those like fireplaces in it and it's like missing a piece it like came with the piece but the piece isn't like the right piece so we can't even light it right now so we're gonna figure that out another day I just finished cleaning up all of inside a bunch of girls are coming over for Galentine's Inside is all clean and ready to go.
Today is Super Bowl Sunday. We're having a little eggs and Wheaties and bacon, but bacon's still cooking. But we're a little breakfast brunch, actually. It's like noon. And I have to make a casserole for tonight. We're gonna go to Log's house, hang out with our friends, watch Super Bowl. Pretty chill. I'm ready to like not do anything after this weekend. It's been fun, but a very long weekend. <laughs> it's time to make my Super Bowl dish. I decided to make funeral potatoes. And if you've never heard of this, so basically if you didn't know, I grew up Mormon or LDS. And it's like a cultural meal that they make. We actually had it at Sunday dinner last week and it was so good. Logan was like, um, can you make that for the Super Bowl party? And I've made funeral potatoes for like all my friends who have never tried it before at like every potluck I go to. So it's kind of one of my go-tos bring a little bit of my family's culture to people and make funeral potatoes. So um, let's make them. It's a fairly simple recipe. You need cheddar cheese, butter, cream of chicken condensed soup, shredded hash browns, onion. I thought I had an onion and I have like scraps of an onion. So hopefully it's enough. <laughs> I'm also gonna add our leftover bacon from breakfast up in it, like bacon bits. So hopefully that'll be good. And then usually you put cornflakes on top, but I do not like that. So I'm either gonna skip that or add pork brands on top. Super Bowl. Um, remember how I was saying it was like spring weather and felt so nice last week? This is today. It is literally snowing outside. Wow. Well, at least our couch didn't get any snow on it. Just the chairs and the coffee table. That is a lot of snow. It was like fluffy. It wasn't like that before. It's not even that cold outside. I'm so confused how it's snowing. Kitties looking out the window on the snow day. What's going on? Griffin, you're freaking me out. I hate when you look at me like that. What do you guys think of the snow day? I'm doing a little bit of camera surgery. This happened at the Valentine's party. This is my old vlog camera that I used to always use. And she's broken many, many times before. But luckily this time I had fixed some of my husband's sunglasses and have a whole like mini screws kit. So hopefully I can just, cause there's no screws. This one was super glued and this screw I guess came out. Hopefully it still works. Let's try to fix her. Gotta find the right sizes. Oh, it's so naked without a case. This is not my daily use camera anymore, so it's fine. You know what? I need to bring the lamp in here. Okay, I can literally only get like one screw in. It works. It's not flying off anymore. I think it'll get the job done. I just gotta make sure to keep that screw tightened. And you know, she's good to go, kind of. <laughs> 
update that might be a never mind i can't get it to turn off so that's like not a good sign well i think i might have just killed her she was bound to die eventually hopefully maybe she just needs a little rest anyways thank you guys for spending the week with me and i will see you in the next vid or the next weekly vlog love you guys bye